Let's time and let's play Final Fantasy IX! I've been through the desert on a chocobo with a name. It felt good to get into the rain. It's raining, man. Hallelujah, it's raining, man. Every specimen. Dude, look like a lady. See, viewers, even I can sing off key when I really want to. Should I just turn in my man card now, viewers? Oh, I, I think I turned it in a long time ago. Hey! Where are you going, Kuja? Come back here! I'm not through with you! Just turn tail and run, why don't you? I'm H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! Last time, we got our asses handed to us, so that means that we get to change the disc. So, let's go ahead and take care of that then. Yeah, way to spoil some of the events of Disc 2 there with all those screenshots there, game. Great job. A lot of people were asking me last time, H.C. Bailey, why weren't you having Freya use Jump against Beatrix there? Well, one of the reasons why I don't use it a lot in general is just because Jump does not stack with her killer abilities, like Maneater, Bird Killer, things like that. Um, so really, her attack command is really just better, or at least better DPS. Uh, also, I wanted her on the ground so that way she could cover someone else for shock, which would really nail someone else with less HP. Yeah, why would someone want to start a war and enslave the entire world? Especially a bunch of people with pointy hats. White pointy hats. Haha. <laughs> well, we got the white pointy hats and the guys with the uh, yellow pointy hats. Oh, okay. I guess this guy likes people who like pickles. Well, that worked out for us very well. Ha <laughs> Yeah, why do you think I ended up guarding one of the most important gates in the kingdom? But other than that... Okay, so I guess we're going back to Steiner and Dagger while we're here. Oh, yeah, I suppose she's sleeping, huh? Everyone sleeps standing up in this game, by the way. It's the law. If you sleep lying down, well, they'll kill you in your sleep. Well, of course she does. Oh, or maybe not. Maybe it's just a vicious rumor. Just like in all the Dragon Warrior games, there's a lot of rumors in those games, you know? Yep, just do your job. You're not part of saving the world at all, Steiner. Even though you have a trans bar, that doesn't mean that you're required to save the world. That's okay. Don't worry about it, Steiner. What's going on? Oh, okay. Why is that? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, a few hours then, based on how long I was at Bermisha, huh? How's it going, Steiner? What did I just say? Oh, we made it back. I thought we were going to Trina. What's going on over there? Oh, but I can't see the castle. Where's my house from here? Oh, okay. I guess Alexandria includes Dali and Trina, I suppose. Oh, there we go. Let's take a look around while we're here, while we're waiting for the uh, train to get back here. Um, oh, uh, no, I don't know how they work. No, tell me, how do they work? Oh, I thought they'd been friends for a much longer time than that. Huh. Oh, okay. So that's how that works. Oh, there you are. Hey, okay. how's it going? Oh, yeah, I suppose. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. Now let's see what's going on in here. Take a rest here. I always liked, when I used to do a lot of traveling back in the day, I always liked the little oases that they had along the highways. I used to travel all over the Midwest for Magic the Gathering tournaments and stuff. Stuff. I miss those days, but it was pretty expensive to travel all the time like that. Well, as long as we're here, get, grab that phoenix down, and then talk to this Moogle here. Yeah, let's give him a letter. 
one thing I really like about how they do this letter sequence is that the letters that we deliver are ones that we got on this path. Like, we got the letter from Grimo all the way back down at the bottom, or at Bowdoin Station. Whereas now, uh, we are delivering that letter here, even though we share the same inventories. It's not like I'm delivering a letter on this path that I got on Zidane's path, which wouldn't make sense. I mean, it's just a little detail, but a lot of times they skip stuff like that, or forget. But anyway, if you delivered that coupon nut from before, when you left all the way out of Bermisha, you can get another one from Nasna here. Anything else? Oh, another letter. Sure, sounds like a great idea. Anything else? No, nope, no, nope, that's all. Okay, well, as long as we're here, let's buy some more supplies. I got a lot of good stuff, that, well, maybe not a lot, but enough that's worth getting. Buy an air racket for Dagger. It's a little weaker than the one I just found, but it has some abilities that you can only learn from it, I think. Got Mithril Rods. I, want, I actually want to buy two of them, even though Dagger's the only one who can equip it, simply because you can use them to synthesize some Brave Suits at, on Disc 4. So, want to hold on to those. Grab a couple Glass Armlets, because I left them back on my other party there. Let's see. Uh, I want to get a couple Megas Hats for the same reason there. And then I want to buy 99 Steeple Tats, so that way I can do the Cotton Robe trick again and get more money than I'll need for pretty much the remainder of the game. Okay, well that's everything I want to buy here, so let me just take a moment to rearrange my party so that, um, well, with all the new equipment that I got and everything here. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. Uh, if you have any questions about my, about my setup, uh, just let me know in the comments section there. I'll see what I can do for you. What do you mean, the middle of nowhere? This is the center of commerce for the two kingdoms. I mean, bermisha has gone, but they don't use these things. I don't see any rats around here. Eh, how's it going around here? Oh, well, your other guy didn't seem to think so. Huh. What is a bunt cake, anyway? I'm guessing that's just a made-up word. Cake's a lie. I don't believe your sass. Uh, no, no. Okay, okay, I'm done talking to you. There we go. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. Whoa! Well, that was fast. Oh, okay, that was just the car leaving. Huh? Who's that? Doesn't matter which door you take, the lower or the upper one, you'll end up on the opposite side from those guys over there. Hey, it's Sinna, the useless guy with the hammer. And Marcus. What are they doing here? Ha Captain Hammer is more uh, competent than Sinna is. Oh, well. Is that a facepalm there, Marcus? Huh? Come on. Do a full-on facepalm. Come on. Nuts. Oh, well. Rap scallions or er, uh, scoundrels. That works too. Ha <laughs> ha! Get over it, Steiner. How dare you! Well, at least Steiner's not half as annoying as most of the cast of Final Fantasy X. Uh, not a real big fan of Final Fantasy X viewers. I'll be honest with you. Not very high on my uh, favorites in the series. Yeah, check it out. The only hot girl around here. How's it going? Why, you little! Hey, uh, Sina, how did you get out of there? Why, you little! Uh, Steiner. Why, you little! Uh, I'm the princess. What? Uh, oh, oh, uh, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Friends? Friends kidnap you? Smack him upside the head, princess. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha How embarrassing. How embarrassing. That's the best Yoda impression you're going to get out of me, viewers. Holy cow, that was terrible. What's going on? Oh. Oh, you're right, right. I was like, why is he going there? Right, because he's going to report. Uh, oh, and Marcus is heading to Trina. I wonder why he's going there. Well, maybe we should uh, follow him there. I mean, we are going to Trino, after all. Maybe, uh, Steiner, you should keep an eye on them, you know? 
No, no, move along. Move along, princess. They're not the thieves that you're looking for. Hey guys, come back. I want to talk to you. What's it been like after getting stoned all that time? Bro, who are you talking about? He can't be. Why is he going to Trino? What kind of deal? You're not going to tell me anything, are you? No, apparently not. Okay, yeah, let's let's go inside. Might as well. Don't want to miss our train. Is she, like, stalking me? What's with that lady there? Huh. Well, let's just move along, then. No seatbelts or anything. Well, I don't think seatbelts have been invented yet, but... What do you mean, your brother? Blank? But... We, uh, he's petrified for good. That's it. But th 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 that was just a rumor from Final Fantasy IV. It's impossible. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I, I guess. W what kind of questions? What's your bra size? No. No. Oh, we I ditched him the first chance we got and uh, let him get wasted by, uh, by a general there. Yeah, pretty much. You are a child, Dagger. Oh, okay. I didn't see the way you were looking at him. How's it going, Stan? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay, might as well. Sit down, then. Oh, well, there you go. That's a nice, j nice job there. Uh, don't answer that, viewers. Just don't. What do you mean? You were unconscious the whole time. Huh? What was that sound? Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's just normal engine trouble. Nothing to worry about. Huh? It's a demon! Nuts. The pointy hat. For some reason, I feel the inexplicable urge to pronounce pointy differently. Ah, must be nothing. Oh, no! How did he get all the way over here? We killed him! My mission is to kill! My mission is to kill! <laughs> we'll finish you off this time! You don't belong in this world! Demon? Or however the quote goes. You know what I mean, Pierce. I don't think- I think he does attack the princess this time around. Eh, whatever. Are you gonna get over here sometime today? I'll kill you all! For boss time! Alright, it's time for the final battle against the Black Wolves, number three. So, let's take him out first things first. Uh, just like always, steal some items from him, if I can. Uh, you don't have to worry about um, sword magic this time because, well, we clipped his wings the last time, so he won't be able to uh, hover in the air this time around. Alright, got the steepled hat. Uh, leave Dagger on standby for uh, healing as necessary. Good thing Marcus decided to join us. I like how, you know, when Zidane left our party, now over here we have Marcus in this party. So that kind of helps out, you know, replace him, you know? Kind of like how Celis joined our party when Terra left in Final Fantasy VI, you know? So that way we still have that pure magic user. Well, uh, yeah, heal Marcus there. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get the uh, last item that I want to get from this guy off screen then. Alright, there we go. We got the flame staff that I was looking for, so finish the guy off. Alright, got him. Yeah, that was essentially all I wanted, a flame staff that's new for BB. And so, there we are. Alright. No ability points. Nuts. Oh, well. What is up with those waltzes anyway? Can we save Blank after all? And what is Trino like? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IX! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.